Hey guys, Rick Personas here, back in our video. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to make a bass sound like all of our Hellness alias Hilo, like a did in the track Zeus. So let's dive into it. Although it sounds complicated, it's quite a simple bass, consisting of two layers, the top sound and the bass sound. So let's dive into the bass sound right now. We say that the presets are coming from the new pack Bass House Room 5. So if you wanna make this style of music, it's the perfect pack to check it out. So now let's dive into it. So let's dive in the bass sound. So we're gonna make it from scratch, stack in the preset. Besides that the MIDI looks like this. So basically the E notes going up one after and one up down. So now let's design the bass. It's an acid bass line, so we're gonna go over the acid wave table for both oscillators. So both oscillators are going to be two ups down. Second one is going to be slightly detuned. With six unisons, detuned just around here. As you can hear this, we'll spread the bass line a little bit. Then we're going to filter it. We'll be using low 24. Cut off just around here. Drive up quite high. Then we're going to route envelope 2 to the cutoff. Sustain all the way down. With the envelope just around here. Then I'm gonna route the macro to the sustain so we can give the washout effect. Sounding this. Fan is gonna be up as well. Same for the resonance. With those S bass lines, there's a lot of resonance in it. Let's take a mono to avoid overlapping notes. We say that we're gonna add a sub oscillator to up this down. With F up 2 to the level. Just add some more low end to the sound. So now we're gonna dive in effects. First, some hyperdimension. Mixing just around here. That's on a mansion. Just to open up the bass a little bit more. Then we're gonna distort it. With a sign called distortion. Quite a healthy one. So just use a little bit of drive. It's a bit too distorted right now, so we're gonna fill it again with a low 18. F up to the cutoff. Drive just around here. And then we're gonna boost the low end a little bit more because it's lacking right now. So simply bump up the gain to around here. And that's it for main bass. So now let's dive into the lead sound. So now let's dive into the lead sound. So we're gonna make it from scratch as well, stacking a preset. As you can hear in the original, it's quite a flanging sound. So, so we'll be using a saw wave. We'll be using about 10 unisons, detune just a little bit back. Sounding like this. Next shape the envelope for the really short decay. Just around here. Then we're gonna add some noise to it. For the level up quite high actually. Just around here. Then we're gonna mix it. So first we'll be using a chorus sound. For the high pass throat. As you can hear this we're already got us close to the final sound, so just shape it a little bit. Mix will be down to around here. That's some flanger. We actually left it by default. Then we can make sure to cut off lows because we have the baseline for that. Just around here. And then some tube distortion. Just still thicken up the sound. Some compression. Just to bump up the volume as well. And some reverb and delay to finish up. So we'll be using the same from today. Reaper will be having a low cut. Again, to make room for the bass line. Then mix it in together, they sound good. So then on the mixer, we only have this kick start. And that's it for the sound. So if you want to project the file, make sure to check the page If you want the presets, make sure to check the bass out spec. And the final result will sound like this.